is, okay, it's Sunday, you just woke up, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to sleep in a little bit, I'm going to have brunch. So what's for brunch, Jason? Wasn't it great when you're in bed and you wake up and you can hear the pots and pans going yes. and you think, someone's down there making me yes. breakfast. Yes. It's I, not me. No. I don't know what that sounds like. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> like, you, you're the person feeling. shaking the pans, yeah. right? <laughs> Which I appreciate you coming over to my house and making No. <laughs> I'm doing French That's toast. That's a whole other story. Okay, which yeah. I love French toast. Me too. But I want to add more to it. Just French toast, okay, wait, right, but we're going to put some bacon on there, a little mm -hmm. poached egg. But before we get into that, I think the sauces, the toppings are really important. Yeah. You know, and making a simple jam or preserve, you know, beautiful rhubarb right now. You're starting to see it all come out of all the hot houses and very soon out of the ground, and it's just vibrant in flavor. Right. So you just basically take some rhubarb like this, uh, just a little bit of sugar. Mm-hmm, the whole thing, yeah. Ooh. It's, it's jam, hard. everybody, it's calm hard. down. Um, it's jam. And then I've got some nice hot chili in there. Oh. Right? No butter, no butter. See, that's a plot twist. Uh, hot chili, uh, fresh herbs, you know, you got some basil in there. But this is really, the, the base is you need a little bit of liquid, which I've got some orange juice, but you can use a little ice wine if you just haven't done that later around. Yeah. Uh, or, you know, any kind of a stock like that. But you need the fruit, uh, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of juice, and everything else is flavor builders. You okay. know, so I've added, you know, you could put ginger in here. Yeah. And then I put a little pinch of pectin. Now, you don't have to do that. But the thing is, when you start to boil that down, and all you do is just let that simmer away. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go really runny on you, and you're going to think, oh, it's too thin. When it cools, it will thicken up. Oh, okay. You know, and the easiest test, actually, is, uh, you know what, I'll take this plate right here. But is when it's still quite um, warm, yeah. you just take a little bit. Put it on a plate like that, yep. pop it in the fridge for about a minute, and then run your spoon through it. And if it starts to get jelly like that, you know it's going to set. It's perfect. Yeah. Okay. And then all you do is you put it in the fridge, and look at that. Isn't that fantastic? That looks great. I'm just going to put some more. I just love jam like that. Yeah, that's so good. And you're right, though. When it comes to French toast, it is all about the toppings. It really is. you know, And that can be now put on to anything, right? Mm -hmm. so, so once you've got your preserve, then we get into the actual French toast. So I'm going to get you guys to put a little bit of eggs in there. Them right in there. Just dump them on. How many? Yeah. All, All of them. Right? Yeah, why not? There you know, because I want thick, crusty bread. Then yeah. a little bit of that milk. So a little eggs, a little milk. I uh, like your portion sizes right now. Mm. Like you're doing yeah. a whole casserole lemon. dish. Yeah, yeah, because you want uh, mix. Um, zest. Yeah, zest some lemon. Zest. Put Here some lemon go. juice in there. And then there's also, if you look, there's a little actually oh, vanilla, vanilla bean. Lemon vanilla. I know. That's good. It's, and it's also fresh and lemon vanilla with rhubarb. Hello, yeah, works really well. Yeah, that's good. Flavor so, party. You know, it tastes, nah, it's not that it bad. It tastes expensive. But the vanilla, <laughs> um, you can put vanilla bean in there, but if you don't yeah. want to spend the money on the vanilla bean, just a tiny little bit of extract in there For and you'll sure. still get a vanilla flavor. The real right? vanilla bean? Right so, in there. Yeah, throw it right in there. Yeah, yeah just get in there. Yeah. All right. And then... Buy non-sliced. Oh, you, you would. So that's bread the bread you're gonna use. Yes. Yeah. Go. Oh, that's good. Oh, crusty. I'm right? just drawn to bread like that. Yeah. It's a it's a gravitational pull. You know, so <laughs> I love that bread. French toast. This is what people make. Mm -hmm. No, you can't do that. Are you, no, are you kidding finger, me? Please. Come on. That's good. Nice big. Texas, because Texas toast. It's gonna yeah. yeah, it's gonna soak it up, right? So get it in there. And the thing is, put it in, let it sit for about a minute. And then turn it over, you know, and just let it. I'm just gonna put a bit of butter in my pan here, see if it starts to melt. There we go. We knew that was coming. Yeah, turn that one up a little bit. But um, but what you do is you just, uh, you know, let it soak, let it take on that lemon flavor. And you can actually, if you, you know, the night before, cut all the bread up, mm -hmm. cling film it so it doesn't dry out, and yeah. then you just soak it before it's going into the pan. So right? you're giving it a good soak. Yeah. A minute on each side. I'm gonna switch these over to like a little hot burner here. Okay. But. Uh, then a nice Teflon pan or a pan that's not going to stick too bad. You know, you want a lot of surface area in there because these are, you know, obviously pretty big. But flip them over. Hello. Hello. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I so love some it. people like their Maybe. French toast more eggy than others. Are you I more like of an eggy? You I like it eggy. Like eggy. Well, yeah. I like it eggy. I like it eggy. I'm sort of in in between. Like yeah. I want just a little bit of crunch. Then all you do is just put it in the in the actual mixture less time. That's all. Yeah. Right. But the idea here though is is what I like to do is I put it in there. Brown it. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to do it a little thinner, just brown it, put it straight on the plate, that's fine. But yeah. because there's so much egg in there, you brown it, put it on a pan, right. and then you're going to push we over go. here. We get out of there. Full contact. What Excuse do you want? Me what? Get the uh, oh, nice. Oh, that's what you do. It gets um, fluffy. Oh. What happens when you put eggs in the oven? They get mm -hmm. all fluffy, right? That's perfect. Yeah, so Ooh, that's it. Plate. You end up with nice, fluffy French yeah, that's toast. Stuff <laughs> that's right kind of what I want. So then I literally just take a little bit of pea meal bacon, grit it off. And then you just layer up your uh, French toast. And of course, it's all about presentation. Yep. Get rid of my old time boring piece. This must be served right. in bed. 
Yeah. Served in bed. Yeah, put on a tray. Put but the idea is, yeah, and then you just take this and you just layer it up with some more French toast. But look at this. You got French toast, you got pea meal bacon, and then I poached a nice egg. Right. Put it on top. So when you're ready to go, just crack that egg and let it go right over top. That's and that yeah. is yummy That's French yeah. toast. Perfect flavor combination right there. You got it all going on. So that is a good, that's a good brunch. I like that. Cityline.ca for that uh, recipe. Look, it's starting to get all yeah. drizzly. I know. It's ready to go. Let's go to break. We've got more coming up. <laughs>